So this is our new Cobra F Max driver. It's really built for the Super Game Improvement Golfer. We would call that golfer the 17 plus handicap. They're looking for more speed and distance like every golfer, but usually they need a little bit more help getting it up in the air. So these clubs are designed with very low CGs. We're designed with a little bit shallower club head. We have an added loft to uh, the product and an easy playing shaft to get the ball up quicker and fly a little bit longer. So this is the golfer out there that's playing a lot of golf. These are avid golfers, but they're looking for a little more benefit in the super game improved category. Very lightweight materials for the whole structure of the golf club. We're trying to design lighter for more speed. Every golfer wants more speed, but it has to be playable speed. So we designed that package with the right shaft head and grip combination to give us that playable speed. And you talk about playable speed in the lightweight package. Uh, let's start with the shaft because that's mm -hmm. the engine in a way. Uh, what weight is the shaft? For this so this is about a 50 grand shaft. We call it super light. Now we could go lighter. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's where people say, why don't I get a lighter shaft because it's better. I said, well, you still have to swing it and hit the ball with it and try and get it in a certain direction and distance. So if I give you a 30 gram shaft, you'll probably get more swing speed, but you won't like the way it swings and you won't have any repeatability at all. So we know that one of the challenges to our sport, because it's essentially a rotational motion, the optimum usually isn't the lightest lightest. The optimum is usually in some bell curve of light, but lighter. So we're still in that light, but lighter category, but we're not a 30 gram shaft. So we're not a super light overall weight because you still need to swing the golf club and feel it. And that's always the trade off between that design property you want. You want lighter, as light as you can make it, but you still want it to be playable and you want to have repeatability, and that's where some of the weight is needed. And in terms of head design now, what goes into this head that's going to make it launch higher and more forgiving for that higher handicap? Yeah, the key thing here really is in the F Max product, we have an offset head. The key thing about offset is it actually moves the CG further back, so that automatically helps you get the ball up in the air quicker, a little bit of draw bias. The nice thing is about the new finish that we put on this club is with a black on black crown, you don't see the offset quite as much as you've seen in some of our previous products. So the driver looks a lot better. In addition to that, we're also going to offer it in what we would call a straight neck version. So we do have both versions of it. One had a little bit more height and draw bias and one's a little bit more neutral. That gives us a great playability, but it's got a forged tie six four face, very thin tie structures. It does have a nice alignment feature on the crown that a lot of people like, but it's not in your face. It's very subtle. So the overall F Max driver has also got, as you can see pretty quickly, back heel weighting. Pretty simple. And the nice accent of gold. We know everyone loves gold. <laughs> and what lofts are the F Max driver? So they come in nine five, ten five, and then there's a high launch model as well. And the alignment feature, like uh, if we could turn it over and try to get it on camera, like you say, it's really subtle. Uh, can you just, you know, describe that a little bit? Yeah, it's nice. A nice band right through the middle of the driver helps you align, helps you focus that swing thought to swing through the ball as well. And it's got a little bit of detailing in it that kind of gives it an arrow and a speed feeling. So nice job. Our guys in the design group do a really great job in terms of the visuals, and we're excited about the way these drivers turned out. A lot of people are having very positive comments about them. And uh, the decision to go with a shallower face, uh, for those at home, can you talk about why a shallower face might be a little more forgiving for uh, that player that we're looking at? Yeah, in general, shallower face lowers your CG. We know lower CG is one of the key design elements we want in a driver. Uh, we also know that in general, when you see a face with a larger dress area, but a shallow face, it's very easy to hit. And that's the perception that golfers get, as opposed to a deeper face. Uh, deeper face is typically traditionally been preferred by, I would say, better players, higher spin players. When you see a big address with a shallow face, you get a great ball flight out of that. And when is the F-Max driver available and at what price? These are available on 8.8 .8 and the price is $299, street price. All right, thank you, Tom.